Well, welcome back, everybody. Uh, so the other morning, I'm <clears throat> heading down from Glens Falls, exit 18 to exit 15, six accidents on the north way. Cars off the road, all over the place. So when I got back here, I talked to the guys, <clears throat> and I said, you know what? I want to bring an expert in, in insurance, to just kind of navigate us through what do you do when you're caught in living in this part of the country in this kind of a winter and with weather conditions the way they are, making it very difficult to get from point A to point B. So Rick Schrade, who is a GEICO, local GEICO agent in our area, stepped up to the plate. So first, thank you for doing this. Thank you, Jesse, for having me here. Oh, you're quite welcome. Um, that experience I had is something that I happened to see that day, but you see it every single day or hear about it every single day, right? Absolutely. We hear about a lot of claims every day. We deal with a lot of claims every day in our office in Albany. Boy, I bet you do. Hey, um, let's just help our viewers here. It, um, this happens. What do you do? What are, what are some of the things that you advise your clients? You're in an accident. What happens? What do you do? Hopefully, they, they call me immediately mm -hmm. um, after they've called 911, and hopefully, mm -hmm. they're still in their car. The oh, most important it. thing, make sure you stay in your car. Uh, let, me, uh, let me just cycle back on that. Mm -hmm. Accident happens, you just said stay in your car. Your inclination is to get out immediately, right? Your inclination is always to help people. Yes, right. That, that's okay. a natural thing. You want to help the other person, make sure they're okay. If, if obviously you're okay, it's like the, the airline with the, air, with, the, with the airbag. Yeah, right. Uh, Got it. Yeah, put it you're, on you're, somebody first. Put your first. action yes. mask on yeah, first. first. That's right. Uh, the most important thing is stay in your car. There have been okay. recent accidents where people have gotten out of the car and been hit and killed. Mm -hmm. And that's a very, very, very unfortunate situation. Uh, yeah. most important thing is uh, call 911, the first thing you can do, mm -hmm. and make sure the police get on hand. Even if it's a minor accident, call mm -hmm. 911. They're more than happy to come over and check the accident out. It could right. be a parking lot accident. It could be a, a serious Northway yeah. accident. Right. You never know where the accident's going to happen. That's why they're called accidents. Yes, yeah, for sure. Uh, and then uh, you hear sometimes you get out of the car and people are like, oh, no, no, no need to call the police. You know, we can handle this ourselves. Good advice, bad advice. I beg of you, do not do that. <laughs> <laughs> Please, always call either uh -huh. our office yes, or, your, right. or your insurance yes. agent, of course. Yes. And uh, next would be called 911. That's mm. the best way because, uh, unfortunately, the stories always change. And I'm shocked. Does, does, not, does not go in your favor. It's not in your favor. Well, you figure there's, there's probably two things emotionally. I mean, this is, this is a big deal emotionally. I don't care if you just, mm -hmm. like you're saying, it's a parking lot or whatever. It's your car. It's your transportation. It's all this stuff. Oh, yeah. But let's face it. It's gonna, you're going to have one of two emotions. You're either going to be guilty, feel guilty, feel guilty, or you're going to be mad. Right. Right. So that doesn't make for a great scenario to handle it yourself. Right? No. And, and the worst thing is feeling uh, guilty. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the, uh, the thing is that you've caused damage. You say, mm -hmm. oh, why didn't I just, and you didn't do it. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. maybe I was texting. Mm -hmm. Maybe I just had a, a situation where I was picking a donut off the floor. <laughs> right. Something happened. Right. Uh, and fortunately, they call them accidents because accidents happen. And they happen yeah. every day. But, the, but the, the, the key here is that I deal with them every day. Yes. You as a consumer may deal with them one, once every 8 to 12 years. Yeah, I think that's or maybe once every... Saying, right? Remember, my dad never had an accident for 50 years. Yeah, right. Until he was rear-ended by a police officer in Delmar. Oh, well, that, <laughs> that, would, that would require a separate interview. That, could, <laughs> that conversation, was he right. driving a Buick, by the way? Oh, no. Uh, no. Oh, cliche, no, cliche. No, no. Hey, um, uh, something a little more structural mm -hmm. in terms of insurance. We live in a state that has no fault insurance. I don't understand what that means, and I'm sure a lot of viewers don't understand what that means. Nobody's fault? Nobody's fault, and that's, uh, it's always good to have a, you know, a, 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 let me retract on that, it's not a good idea to have an accident, but if yes. you do have an accident, the, uh, the whole, there was a law passed around 1972, 73, mm -hmm. by the New York State Legislature, mm -hmm. and subsequently a lot of states around America have done this, uh, where we used to sue, hire a lawyer, I would sue you, you would sue me for medical payments for my injuries I've received. After I go to the hospital, I get my big $5,000 bill, mm -hmm. and then who's going to pay for that? Mm -hmm. Well, they solved that by taking the lawyers out of the process, mm -hmm. uh, partially. I wouldn't yes, say right, totally, because right, there's right. still people suing for negligence and whatnot, mm -hmm. which is why you have bodily injury uh, liability. So oh, if you do have an accident, you're protected from a lawsuit up to a certain mm -hmm. amount. But in terms of the actual injury that occurs when you go to your chiropractor, your hospital, your doctor, those bills are paid for by the insurance company that you're insured with, okay. whether you're at fault or not. That's why they call it no-fault insurance. 
Sure. Now, does that actually carry through to the repair of the vehicle itself? No, just the repair oh. of your body. And oh, no kidding. Okay. Your, and your passengers yes. and any pedestrians that you hit. Okay, God forbid, right? God forbid. But in terms of getting the repair work done on your car? That comes under collision. Okay. And or property damage. Okay, different than no fault. Right. Okay. Uh, uh, property damage pays for damage to other people's property, be it a car, mm -hmm. a fence, a guardrail, yeah, whatever okay. you hit physically is yes. paid for by property damage when you're at fault. Okay. You pay for their damage under your property damage. So if you see it's in New York State commonly referred to as PD, okay, property yeah, sure. damage, it's the second damage. line. Right. PD, it could be 10000 which is minimum in New York State. It could go up to a million dollars, depending mm -hmm. on how much you feel you want to pay for, and mm -hmm. that will pay for damage to other people's cars. So if you hit a nice Mercedes, it's $50,000. Mm -hmm. It might not be a good idea to have $10,000 in property damage. You yeah, might want right. higher. But when it comes to in, uh, the getting back to the personal injury protection, the mm -hmm. no-fault insurance, was it's commonly called, you can have different levels. You can start at 50000 and go up to, say, 150000 okay, per right. person. Oh, okay. Uh, you know, Rick has uh, got 19 years' experience in this. I can't even imagine the claims that you've worked on and whatnot. Uh, one thread always seems to, uh, there is a common thread here, uh, protecting the rights of your clients, right? Absolutely. The, yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah, the, making sure my clients are made whole. You know, as an insurance agent, uh, insurance broker, we are there to provide money to make things better. Yes, right. That's all we're doing. And obviously, mm -hmm. the compassion that goes along with it, not just here's a check for $1,000, see you later. Yeah, right. We want to make sure people are you know, satisfied and, and happy with what, what's happened because they deal with these experience so infrequently. Mm -hmm. uh, they may feel shortchanged uh, that, oh, I didn't get this or that. Well, any good insurance agent wants to make sure, just like any customer of any business, you want to make sure your customer's happy. Well, sure, it isn't just a question of uh, getting a client's check. You know, as we stated up front, I don't really care what kind of an accident it is. It's an emotional experience. The fact that they would have you as a consultant would be very important, not only in walking them through the process, but wouldn't you, you would have relationships with the body shops that really mm -hmm. perform to the standards that you would expect in recommending something to a client or whatever, you know, there's probably a lot of that, right? Yes, the insurance companies I represent, including Geico, right. um, have relationships with body shops locally. We've already vetted them out. We already know right. they charge a fair price. They have proper people and staff trained. Right. The quality of the, re the resulting work is what we expect mm -hmm. and is by industry standards. Mm -hmm. So it's basically back to a new vehicle. That, that's our, our intention, or as new as we can get it there. As you can get it there, right. Uh, you know, you, you consider this, you don't, maybe we don't, at least I don't think of it this way, but you know, you've got food, you've got housing, and you have insurance. These are probably the three biggest kind of expenses you have on a monthly, on a monthly basis. So uh, two things that stand out to me here, Rick, is that, uh, you know, work with an agent that really understands the business and can walk you through the process, like we said, it's part emotion, but it's also part business. Mm -hmm. And uh, and the other thing that 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 sort of sticks in my head about this is it comes down to someone's behavior, right? Absolutely. Uh, the, right. the the way people behave in life right. generally reflects how much they pay for insurance. Mm -hmm. And I see it every day. Mm -hmm. Whether someone's paying, I think I've seen a, a, a price, um, you know, it could be as low as. Twenty dollars a month mm -hmm. for insurance. Mm -hmm. I didn't think it could get that expensive, mm -hmm. but I've seen it that expensive, mm -hmm. and I've seen prices as high as four or five, six hundred dollars per month wow. for insurance. Okay. Right. And obviously, the person at the low end mm -hmm. uh, may be retired, mm -hmm. doesn't drive very much, has an expensive car with no collision, you know, comprehensive, mm -hmm. or all the way up to persons had uh, a DUI, uh, driving while intoxicated, mm -hmm. multiple suspensions, mm -hmm. payment problems, a lot of things go on in that life cycle to and we uh, the companies have a down where they are mm -hmm. charging a price commensurate with the cost of that client yes i got you but and you've seen it all i've seen it all i bet you have and hey I've, you I've, know what rick uh, we're almost out of time but before we went on air we were covering uh, just a couple of points here you know if you're uh, a senior citizen avoid rush hour driving drive when it's a little the roads are a little less congested mm -hmm. after midnight Please Avoid, don't drive after midnight. Yeah, don't drive. You go, the, the tendency to, for either you to fall asleep or someone else to fall asleep is, is much greater. We don't have to say some of the obvious, but let's state them anyway. Let's not drink and drive, okay? It's Correct. a bad combination. Uh, texting, looking at your nav screen. If you have navigation in your car, mm -hmm. Rick was saying to me, you know, use the audio part of the nav navigation system. 
you know, and of course, wear your seatbelt. Some of it's pretty standard stuff, but it's stuff you see every single day, and we all need to be reminded of it. And I can't emphasize enough, uh, buy a car with an airbag mm -hmm. and wear your seatbelt all the time. And that includes all passengers, even if you're in a limousine, just right. like the recent person who yeah, was right. killed in, uh, yeah, in, New, in New York Jersey. City right. um, in the limousine oh, New, accident. In New York City, that's right. Sure. The, uh, the commentator. The NBC commentator. Yes. And that was very unfortunate. Or a a I think it was ABC. Yeah. yeah. Well, wow. all right. Well, thank you. And I just one quick sidebar here. I want to thank Rick for supporting Play by Play. It, uh, we heard a lot about it, and it was really nice for you to jump in and help high school sports in our area. So thanks for doing that. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you okay. very much. Okay. Oh, we're going to have Rick back again because as soon as the snow goes away, we've got mar marine issues. We've got house ownership issues and all uh -huh. kinds of stuff. Sure. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. Yo, you're welcome. Okay. Okay. Uh, to see this interview again, head to our website, looktvonline.com.